Good afternoon. Today's book is The Theory of Everything by Stephen Hawking. This book is about mankind's struggle to create a unified theory of the entire universe. Hawking does a great job of walking us through mankind's history and with this question. So in the beginning, as we all know, we were just a bunch of nomads running around in the wild and the world around us was a mystery. We just believed that everything was created by God. Simple question, simple answer. But as we've evolved and created mathematics and physics and different theories about quantum mechanics and things along those lines, we've started to evolve as a species and our understanding of the universe itself has also started to evolve. So Hawking really walks you through that evolution and it's really interesting watching how mankind's perspective has changed over the course of history. So we went from basically just believing the world was flat to understanding that the world is round and that we live on a planet. Then we realized that we live on a planet that's just one planet of many planets in a solar system that orbits a sun. Then we realized that the sun itself is just a star and that the sun is just one star among an entire ocean of stars in something we call the Milky Way galaxy. It wasn't long after that that we realized that the Milky Way galaxy is just one galaxy in an ocean of galaxies in something we call the universe. Now as string theory has come along and we've proven that the Higgs boson is real, which is the particle that accounts for gravity, and we've started to come up with more cutting edge theories, we now believe that it's possible that our universe is just one universe in an ocean of universes in something we call the multiverse. So the question of whether or not God created everything or if there's a unified theory that can be mathematically proven to explain the universe and everything we see around us isn't really the point. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that as we struggle to answer that question, we continue to grow and our knowledge grows and our perspective grows. And that's the really important thing, that we're improving ourselves in this search to answer this question. So if you're looking for a great book that explores these topics, I highly suggest this one. My name is Aaron Sedino. Thank you for listening to my book review. Have a good day.